What's going on guys, Cecil here, welcome to Salt and Sanctuary. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that second word, but I think that's how it's spelled. But uh, anyway, today I will show you how to cooperate with a character from a different save file in this game. So let's get started. So what you want to do is to go into Bandit's Pass, a place called Bandit's Pass, which is this uh, building with that glowy, shiny gateway or door over there. It's like you're entering heaven, you know? I mean, when I go into that place, or any other place actually, I feel like I'm going to enter heaven because of this light that's glowing from all over the place. It's just amazing. Oh man, it's just so attractive, man. I want to go there. Oh yeah, let's go one more time. Let's go one. Oh, why not? Okay, yeah, go. Oh, I, I just entered heaven five times, like from different directions. All right, anyways, once you get into that uh, place, which is the bandit's pass, there is that goddess right there, the goddess statue. You just want to give her an offering. I'm not exactly sure what that offering was, but uh, that offering was one of those offerings that brings in more people into the building so that you can, uh, you know, communicate with them as you can see that offering that i just did which is i'm, pre I'm pretty sure i made that offering i made was uh, that stone guide and uh, that stone guide actually br brought in that uh, guy over there which uh, obviously i can um, talk to because i can travel with or something but uh, i'm not exactly sure what that guy was for but i'm not talking about that guy it was another offering by another stone that brings in that guy that's the guy that i'm talking about he is I'm not exactly what he's called, or I don't really remember what the stone that you used to sacrifice so that you could get him was. But, uh, you know what? Whatever stones that you have, just sacrifice them all because there is no other use for them. Like, whenever you get a stone, just sacrifice all the stones that you have to the goddesses and you will be able to get everything and he will come eventually that's what i'm trying to say but anyways once you sacrifice the stone that's required to bring that villager into the uh, into the building just talk to him and yeah companionship yeah sure man why not and then click on the hire and after that you will choose the save file that you want to insert the character from the other game into. Now you can do it two different ways. You can actually insert the character just so that you will bring an overpowered character into your game so that you will play with that overpowered character and make your game much easier or you can do it as some sort of cooperation so that you will get another Xbox controller and bring a friend of yours and play with, uh, and make him play with you and that will make the game much more fun and obviously a million times easier because two are better than one, right? So uh, yeah, now that we have uh, now um, that we have uh, okay hold on okay okay i'll leave leave now okay now that we have uh, finished that let's just see how this cooperation thing will work okay there we go there we go now i'm not uh, i actually can't control one of them i cannot control the other guy because the other guy needs another controller and i only have one but that other guy can come with you with a different controller but anyways yeah i just inserted that other character uh, from the overpowered uh, save file and right now I can actually use him and go and play with him and as you can see I'm killing everyone within one move like seriously because that guy is overpowered that guy is coming from a safe file where I reached level 59 and right now I'm in a safe file where I'm still at level 11 so obviously that guy is gonna be extremely overpowered and the game is gonna be much easier and as you can see I'm not taking any damage at all which is ridiculous so yeah that's kind of a cheat code for this game and uh, now now I am unbeatable I'm I'm unstoppable like seriously so uh, yeah that's uh, how you cooperate in this game and that's not just how you cooperate in this game that's also how you make yourself powerful and make the game much easier sort of kind of a shit code in this game and yeah that's all I'm gonna upload this video to my second channel because I kind of doubt that there are much people that care about this game nowadays and yeah i'm gonna upload this to my second channel but uh, anyways yeah that's how you cooperate and that's how you make your game easier and your character more powerful and that's all thanks for watching I'll see you guys later bye